like to thank the organizers of the, the Congress uh, for deciding to have the second day of uh, this uh, interesting Congress at the Israel yeah. Museum. <coughs> Uh, since uh, we have uh, amongst you the world expert on medieval coinage of this area, uh, my good friend Robert Cole, so I decided not to speak about any coins. I know that I only have like 45 minutes, Robert? No, no. <laughs> 10? 10 minutes. Huh? <laughs> 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 well, I only have 30 slides, so I'll try to do it fast. Uh, so I decided to, since we're at the Israel Museum, then I want to give you just a, a little bit of the insight of uh, the Israel Museum, the history of the museum, and a few words. So let me take you back to the summer, hot summer day like this, 1961. Uh, our legendary mayor, Teddy Kolek, comes with uh, Mark Chagall, a famous uh, Jewish painter, and uh, they come to the area of the museum. Of course, there's nothing in the museum, just a hilltop like this and they uh, start uh, climbing uh, up, uh, up, up the mountain, up, 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 <laughs> and finally they get to the top of the, the mountain and they decide at the top of this mountain they're going to build uh, the Israel uh, Museum. Uh, why at the top of the mountain? As you can see here from uh, this coin of uh, Mount of uh, Neapolis, you can see that in the Greek and the Roman times, temples were built uh, at the top of the mountain where you have a staircase going up. So this was the main idea of the museum. And uh, if we go to the next slide, uh, you will see that uh, this is very reminiscent to what uh, the museum was uh, built at the time. You have the uh, Carter staircase, which is uh, just uh, outside. You go up the staircase, and the main entrance of the museum in 1965 was at the top of the mountain. As you can see, also the structure of the uh, upper galleries of the museum looked like a Greek or Roman temple where you would climb to the high culture of uh, the museum. Just a, movie, a short movie of uh, the inauguration of the museum. One minute. Okay, well, we're, uh, we'll take you back, that was May 11, but actually the Shrine of the Book, where we are right, right now, was open on April 20. It was supposed to be open at the National Library. Unfortunately for us, they decided to build the Shrine of the Book uh, here, which you can, of course, later go and uh, visit. This is a promotion, short promotion. And uh, just to give you an idea where we're standing now, so this is the complex of the Shrine of the Book, which includes also the Second Temple uh, Holy Land uh, model. And we are sitting right now at the auditorium, which was built in the second stage of uh, the museum in 2003. So that's exactly the point we are. And this is an overlook of uh, the whole uh, museum, the largest uh, uh, institution a art institution in uh, Israel, which includes, as you can see, 600,000 uh, square meters and uh, 20,000 meters of uh, display in total. The museum is divided in uh, four main wings. This is the art, uh, contemporary modern art uh, wing. 
we have the Jewish art life and ethnography wing, uh, the youth wing, very interesting. This is the first museum in the world where a youth wing was built as part of the museum in 1969. You have many children museums, so this is a children museum inside the museum that was invented at the Israel Museum. And of course, the most, most important wing, I don't know why, but archaeology, of course. Archaeology is also divided. It, it includes the shrine of the book, the uh, archaeology wing, and the, also the Rockefeller Museum. The Rockefeller Museum displays objects found in Israel until 1948, and the Israel Museum displays objects found in archaeological excavations from uh, 1948 in short. Uh, in the archaeology wing, we have 4,000 square meters of display. We're displaying about 5,000 uh, objects. Of the 75,000 objects uh, we have in, uh, in the wing, most of them are on loan from the uh, Israel Antiquities Authority. They find the material and we display it at the museum. Uh, out of this uh, 5,000 objects, I'm only going to short show you in short, 12 uh, objects uh, which uh, belong to the Muslim and Crusader culture and archaeology galleries. Uh, in short, so this is uh, some important hordes, of course, of coins, just to give you an idea. No explanations, but just to give you a taste of what uh, you will uh, later be seen with uh, our curator, Lisa Luria, which is, she's uh, supposed to be here, Lisa? Thank you. Ah, she's mm. back there, so that's uh, Lisa, she's our curator of Islamic art and archaeology, and uh, Robert uh, scheduled for you a tour about two hours, where you will be able to see all the objects in, the, in these galleries. Okay, I hope you enjoy the day, and thank you very much again for coming to the Israel Museum.